Hi everyone, Pradeep here from TGT and welcome to another macOS update video. Today Apple released macOS Big Sur 11.6 to the public. This update came in around a month after the public release of macOS Big Sur 11.5.2 and contains some major security update. Along with that, Apple also released iOS 14.8, iPadOS 14.8 and watchOS 7.6.2. Also, there is a security update for macOS Catalina as well. To check for this update, go to about this Mac, then software update and you should see your update here. This update came in around 2.64 GB on this mid 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch and depending on the version you are on, this should vary. And this contained some major bug fixes and security updates. Before the update, let's check the build number. As you can see, the version is 11.5.2 and the build number is 20G95. The available free storage in this Mac is 77 GB out of 128 GB. Now before I update, here is a request to subscribe to TGT. This is a dedicated channel for the Apple users and I post important Apple related videos here regularly. So do subscribe. Now let's go on with the update. Guys the update is now complete. Let's go to about this Mac again and here you can see it's 11.6 now and the new build number is 20G165. After the update, the available free storage is around 77.4 GB, so a bit of storage gained. As I mentioned earlier, this update is actually a security update and it patches some major security flaws. Let's go ahead and check the release note by Apple. Here you can see there is an update for the core graphics and the impact was processing a maliciously crafted PDF may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple was aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So an integer overflow issue was addressed with improved input validation. Apple also addressed a WebKit issue with improved memory management as well. Apart from that, there is a security update for macOS Catalina as well and that contains the same core graphics update. This is for the older Macs which doesn't run macOS Big Sur. Also, there may be some important bug fixes and other result issues as well. The previous macOS Big Sur 11.5.2 was a good stable update for many of you and for me as well. But I hope if you were facing problems with macOS Big Sur 11.5.2, this update will resolve those issues for you. Else, performance and stability wise, this is running absolutely fine in this late 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch so far. The battery life is also same as the previous one, at least for me. With macOS Big Sur, I get around 6 to 7 hours of battery life in this MacBook Air, but it varies depending on the task I am doing. Now for the benchmark scores, let's run the Geekbench 5 here. And as you can see, the scores for macOS Big Sur 11.6 are around 597 for the single core and 1404 for the multi core. The multi core score is a bit down from the macOS Big Sur 11.5.2, but that should not affect the performance much. So, if you are running the macOS Big Sur 11.5.2 already, I'll highly recommend you to update to this version. This version is stable and will make your Mac more secure. At this point of time, we are almost done with macOS Big Sur. With the focus moving towards the macOS Monterey, it is unlikely that Apple will add any new feature to macOS Big Sur further. That's it for this video guys. Do share your experience about this update as well. Do like, share and don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.